Okay, we're gonna try and go kill Placidasax, big chunky dragon. See if we can finish this run. We got, mm, I don't know what, like nine, ten bosses left, probably. Should be doable. The only uh, real issue is whether or not we can get through these birds. Right hard, I think, is like the main issue, along with the wall of lightning, which I'm gonna roll through. I'm gonna grab this uh, ancient dragon smithing stone too. Please. Stop. Cease. Kill the bird. That's a win in my book. Been mowing through boss fights in God of War? Nice. How far are you now? You're like a peasant in this outfit. With these pants and these boots and this shirt. Doing the ravens? Have fun with that. <laughs> God of War ravens. The, honestly, in in, uh, in Ragnarok, I didn't think they were that bad. Like, I didn't have to look up a guide or anything. For, I didn't really look up a guide for anything in the 100% for Ragnarok. Now that, now that I think about it. Everything is pretty intuitive. Plus the characters backseat you anyways, so <laughs> even if you get stuck, they'll tell you what to do. I grabbed the grace, right? I hope I grabbed the grace. I wasn't paying attention. Saving the Valkyrie for last. Yeah, I didn't intend on saving the Valkyrie for last. It's just kind of how it happened, though. I hope I... Grabbed the... I did not grab the Grace. What did I just do? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that sucks. Oh, whatever. We're doing this fight. It's fine. What the hell did I do then? Oh, I can't even look at my map here. I'll have to watch that back. <laughs> I don't I don't know what I just did. Did I just like run to Placidus Axe after crossing that bridge? I don't know. Hopefully we don't die here. It's gonna suck. Cause then I gotta go get the grace and come back here. I'm usually good about not dying this boss though. Honestly, I just kind of used whatever against her, and it, it didn't take me too long. It's like an hour and a half, I guess. I don't know what too long is, to be honest. But I get it. Like, you can get some really, really good gear. You'll probably not struggle with too much. It's kind of a bummer that they didn't make a trophy for... Completing it on Gimme God of War, but they probably just didn't want everyone to have to complete it on Gimme God of War to 100% it, so I get that, I guess. But, like, there's no benefit to playing on Gimme God of War unless you want a challenge. Which I'm all for. You play aggressive, Sam. Play too aggressive. Act fires sometimes. Like, what? Run. Run better. Run faster. Up 
he goes. Yo, camera. Camera! Yo, stop. I said New Game Plus they're working on. I'll have to play that at some point. I don't know if I'll stream it, but I definitely want to try it. Eventually. Scary time. I'm just gonna sit over here. Wait for him to come to me. And win. Or die. More L2 and he's dead. Sick. Alright. Let's go do... Before I forget, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do Kaelin. Do this fight. The Boggate should be here. I shouldn't have to talk to Jaren. I think after you burn the Earth Tree, Jaren just leaves. So, should be able to do this. Load faster. Hopefully this fight is here and it's not one. This one, def it definitely doesn't disappear after you burn the air tree because I, I did this in the last run after I burned it. I didn't do it after Malaketh though, so hopefully... I don't, we'll see. If you have to do it after Malaketh to avoid talking to Jaren, then I'll have to push it a little further. This is taking a really long time to load. Is it frozen? Nope, it's going. I think. I don't know. Should I just? I, I'm just gonna. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good. I was convinced that it was gonna just break, and I'd be screwed. Fog gate. Fog gate. Fog gate. Sick. This fight should be quick. Then we'll do four to sacks after this, and then, then right card. And then from there, it's just Malakath sewers in the final three, so not too bad. And another run will be done. Love how much damage that does. It really like does almost the full damage there. Like I get 685 on a on a regular L2. I think it was doing like 592 for a a blocked L2, which is pretty sick. 754. I think it's a counter hit, and that's a stagger. No, oh, okay. I that I was. Nowhere near in front of this guy. Yeah, get back here. That was actually sick. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought he just got iframes automatically there. That's cool. All right, Fortisax shouldn't be too bad. I have a lot of practice with Fortisax after the uh, randomizer. I thought of like, I don't know how many times. And much harder than this. Here's a vinyl boss. Oh, it sucks that I have to go back through that dragon to Reichard. I gotta get the... I gotta upgrade my spear, too, before I forget. I'll do it after this. Definitely before Reichard, though. I can't remember if I need to rest here 
I think I need to rest here. Or like reload. You could save and quit here probably and it would be faster. Dude, who wouldn't love this face? Who would love hugging a person with this face? This is a face of a person who needs a hug. I can't really see it here. Those, those eyes. This is goodbye, but I am satisfied. Yeah, the key to four sacks is literally just keep moving. <laughs> Unless you're doing like a ma uh, mage build or something where you can keep your distance because of that. The lightning is just going to be on you constantly. Skip. What do you even skip there? You skip a black screen. There's no cutscene. <laughs> it's just black. That attack kind of sucks. Even healing is like super risky because you're just gonna get hit. Please reach. Phase two, please. Ah, dude, just stop doing that attack. It's so bad. Yeah, we're not getting phase two. I think he'd be up in the air if we were. Bummer, dude. The phase two music is so good. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I got excited for nothing. I don't know why sometimes he just doesn't go into phase two. Bummer. It's always so sick too, cause like he doesn't move to the music, but he's not doing it. I think it's like if you, oh wait, spoke too soon. of this, but well, if he stops moving, I guess we'll, I guess we'll be a little more. Not much, though. Oh, he's still not dead. Never mind. He needs more health just because we want, I want to hear the music longer. Alright, I forgot to use these. I'm not going to get the other one off. It's okay. All right, so what's next? Reichard, yikes. Great. My favorite fights. I'm not getting that. I don't need it. Temple of Igley, where are you? Here? All right, 20 minute fight incoming. I hope not. I gotta put on some heavier armor. Like, I can't, I can't get away with using the prisoners. Uh, what do they even call this? Prisoner clothing. Prisoner set. To Soluria, I guess. I think it has the best poise. Yeah. It's kind of nice they give you so many armor sets from bosses. And then we need to put on... Something else other than this. 
God skin squad link club. Uh, I'm probably not going to need this because I'm not going to be doing... I'm pretty much just doing L1s. It's literally just L1 spam the whole time. And I probably don't need the blue dancer charm, so we can find something else for that. Don't know what yet. Not this way. I love how you can just run up here in NG+. Right, what are we going to do here? Uh, we'll figure it out when we get in there. But yeah, after this, it's just Malakath, Sewer Bosses, and the final three. That's it. So, And we've already done the final three in New Game. So those won't be too bad. Gideon is always easier in NG+, just because he, like, the spells he has are not as bad as they are in New Game. Like, he has Scarlet Aeonia, which is, like, well, it's, like, useless, but it's kind of useless for him. He doesn't have the Triple Rings of Light or... Com uh, not Comet Azur. He doesn't have Comet Azur, but that's actually a good one. It's one you'd rather have. But mainly he doesn't he doesn't do triple rings of light at all. I think it gets replaced. Either it gets replaced or just like overruled by so many other things that you never see it. I cannot wait to farm that staff, by the way. Off of that egg snake thing. I don't even know what it is. It has a pretty good drop rate, apparently. It's like eleven, according to Fexter, if that even it means anything, but I'm not looking forward to that run. That run, I'm going to try and do... It's probably not going to happen. I'm going to try and do fire sorceries against this boss. Uh, but it, it probably isn't going to happen. Oh, yeah, I guess we... You know what? I'm not even going to bother putting the other flask to a crimson. I'll just keep it blue for now. And then we should be fine. Me is this... This actually would have been a good thing to use in the fight. I need this off, though. This isn't going to help at all. I can do this. Should help. All right. Let's go. Let's see how long this takes. I'm going to say like 16 minutes. Not that bad, actually. I did I put on this? I put on the stamina regen thing. Yeah, I'm gonna do this too. Get even more stamina regen. I don't actually know if it works, but have I been staggered more than once in the lava? I don't think I have. How long does the Baldikin's blessing even last? might be faster than I thought. Well, I always say that at this point in the fight, Rykard is really where it starts to slow down. Phase one isn't bad. We're still full health, by the way. Well, not anymore, but... That's why the uh, Swaddling Cloth is just so good for this fight. I say so good, like, this is the way you're supposed to fight him. It's been, a, what, a minute and a half so far? That's not too bad. Maybe we can do it in 10. That'd be cool. times it together. Yeah, this is where it slows down a ton. He gets way more health in phase two, plus he just doesn't let you ever attack him, because he just runs away a ton. And he's up in the air doing all sorts of tricks. And then you gotta run around for like two minutes. It's actually, like, okay damage. Oh, I got 
stuck on something. I don't know what happened. Oh, you see. It's fine. If I can get a stagger, that'd be sick. Not happening. I gotta run. Yeah, we didn't really do too much damage there, unfortunately. That's okay, once you get to 50%, then he starts to, like, take a lot of damage. Because the snake is out, it's easier to hit him, he stops moving around as much. I'd just like to get a stagger, that'd be great. I can never do it in phase two, though. So I have, like, the right weapon. I don't know, maybe Impaling Crest would be good for it, but... I'm not gonna bother with it. I'd rather just get the heals from hitting with the... the L ones. That's what I mean, you can barely hit him. It's so frustrating. And then you gotta run around again for like 10 years because just how this fight is. Still only use one nail though. Actually, maybe two. Yeah, two. Up out though. I think we're five minutes in. That might hit me. Can't tell. I can never tell how far it is gonna go. Your ice melt ones or L twos. Good damage. Maybe get a stagger. I'd be uh, very grateful. Well, he's just gonna keep running away. So. Oh, sick! That was like four to stagger him. Actually worth. I just do this for a bit. And the range, too, on Impaling Thrust is really good. That's totally worth it. we got to do it again! Can I do it before he does his thing? I might have. I actually might have got him there before he did the crazy skull time. No, I gotta move. All right. Now it's crazy skull time. Dude, that literally just came out of nowhere. I was not there two seconds ago. All right, well, he's almost in phase two of this phase, so once he is, it should get easier. See fire, I can't see anything else. <laughs> I think it's just fire. That won't hit me, right? Oh, I'm close. Alright, one more stagger, and then I think after we hit him a couple times, he'll be in phase two. Phase two, phase two. Not to be confused with phase one, phase two, which I don't think even exists. Because the snake is just kind of doing this, the same thing the whole time in phase one. Oh my god, this is so hard to hit. I, dude, even the impaling thrust just, like, can't hit him. What? Come on, snake time, snake time. Give me the snake. One more, one more. Thank you. 
and it's snake time, so... Should be easier to hit. Except I think we're gonna have to run. Now we gotta deal with the snake, too. Even with the spears, the hitbox, like, it's been, like, it's actually kind of annoying to hit him. Surprisingly. I, I thought it would be better, and it's been... But, no, Rykard's hitboxes just kind of suck. They're just bad. Oh, let's not go in towards the sword. It's snake time. The L1 just uses so much stamina. At least it feels like it does. And then it just starts jumping on you. That's right, give me the snake. Jumps on you, and you get staggered by the lava, so you stop momentarily and can't run away. It's fine, though. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, it, it, this part always goes by faster than the first half of this phase. Because when the snake is, like, active, it, the body changes. Like, Rygaard basically tucks it in in phase one, and then he lets the fat loose in phase two. That being the snake, I guess. One more running section. All right. Ah, oh, tried to roll out. Just miss it. Please stop. I want to heal, but I can't. <laughs> I will die if I try and heal. I do not want to die now. So it's been about 10 minutes. I can't remember what I said. 16? This is with no bleed, too, so that's not bad. No bleed, no frost, no status effects at all. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this with fire magic. Like, I don't think it's possible, to be honest. It's got 100k HP between the two phases. And I'd be dealing, like, 200 damage per hit. Even well with, with like the hardest hitting, most conservative FP fire spells, I don't think it's possible. The Crescent Sickle run I did with uh, Flame Mart infused. Oh my god, please stop. The Flame Mart infused Crescent Sickle, or what, Celebrant Sickle? I'm sorry. It was like a 45 minute fight. And that damage sucks. I don't think it's going to be possible with fire magic. 11 minutes, more or less, I think. Wasn't that bad. All right, now we got to run all the way through Fairmazool again because I screwed up and I don't, I don't even know what I did. I just didn't get the one thing I needed to get here. Also, I need to go upgrade. I forgot to upgrade the spear. I guess at this point, I'm not going to upgrade it because I am lazy. And that would have been the one fight I wanted it for and it's done, so. I wish there were better, somber, ancient dragon smithing stones available. Whatever it's called, I don't know. Like, this one's good, because it's, you know, you have to come through here. But, like, you gotta go to the snowfield for one. I think you get some at the end of quest lines, which I'm never gonna do in, uh... I, mean, I shouldn't say never. I'm probably rarely gonna do quest lines in, uh... in New Game, or New Game Plus. Unless they give you a weapon, and it pretty much just would be for, like, that weapon run. I don't even know where else you get them. There's one in, in Mogwin Palace, I know that one, but... Um, 
which I'm never going to do a new game. Unless I had a reason to go to the snow field, and then I guess I would just run through to grab it, but... I don't know what I did here. I must have just, like, not came here and just ran to Placidisax. Or maybe, did I send the elevator? Like, what? I swear I came through here, but I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I sent the elevator up. I just didn't touch the grace for some reason. I think, because it's not on the it's not on the map. So I must not have grabbed it. Unless it's just like invisible and right, stop. Let's see. What like how did I just I don't know how I did it. What did I do? <laughs> I just came up here and then went immediately down. <laughs> Oh, God. Whatever. It's fine. Alright, Malaketh should be not too bad. Maybe Malaketh, Gideon, Horalu, and Rhinogon and Eldbeast, we've done already. So really, it's just the two sewer bosses, one of which is Phase 1 Moog, who's already done, and the other one's an NPC, so it's like... Not really too much that's gonna be a problem here. I just hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think I have, though. If I did, we'll do it whenever we get DLC. It's just so easy to forget, like, a boss. Like, some easy boss that is in Limgrave or something. Like, the duo demi-human chief or... I don't know. One's probably one of the easiest ones to forget. Or, like, some Erdtree Burial Watchdog somewhere. Because there's, like, so many of them. It's just a lot to keep track of. I gotta put my other armor back on, too. I didn't put anything back on. So I got the swaddling cloth on. For all the good that does me here. Well, you know, maybe it's not so bad, except he doesn't stop moving, so you can't hit him. I got a heal there from the swaddling claw. Damn. Think you alright, buddy? That can come off. Give me that. Give me this. Okay. Sewer time. Be done in like in what? Ten minutes? Fifteen minutes? Probably, probably more than ten minutes. Definitely. It takes so long to get through the sewers too. There is a skip to Moog, which I I don't know it. I know of it. But I'm probably never going to do it. Because it's kind of out of bounds. Plus, running is kind of like, a, at this point, is like a victory lap almost. Running through the sewers is, is like, okay, you're at the end of the run, pretty much. Except for the last run. I had to do it earlier than the end. I did Moog it like earlier than the end anyway, and then I had to do uh, Esker at the end. But yeah. 
Raycard, I guess I just forgot how long he was. Because that wasn't that, that was what, 11 minutes? I thought I missed that for a second. As soon as I uh, am done with this run, I am getting food. I am so hungry. I've not eaten in... Well, I've been streaming almost seven hours, so... Seven hours? <laughs> probably, probably eight hours, actually. Like, intermittent fasting at this point. Not quite. That's, what, 16 hours of not eating? I could do that, actually. I'd be, like, so easy to do with streaming. I don't normally stream for eight hours, though. I just really wanted to get this run done today, because... I don't know. It's nice to finish runs. And I thought there was a chance. I actually didn't think there would be a chance starting today, but... I think, like, four hours ago, we were about to go underground so i said you know let's try and finish or something maybe we were underground at that point i can't remember but right now we're at 12 44 probably like a half hour of that is just me on break time i would say maybe not quite but probably close to it so we're we're definitely gonna this would be like an under 13 hour run i think if i like quit out on breaks which is the fastest so far but mainly because of new game new game was so quick compared to how i normally run easily the fastest new game i've had i don't know why it was so quick either i guess just because everything went well most things went well i think i died to godskin duo one time i don't remember what else though the weapon you can get right away, so I was able to I was able to use this right away and upgrade it. Instead of like having to upgrade something and then upgrade the Can I backstab you here? Damn it. That would sick. Man, I hate this guy so much. Alright, I'm running. Climb. Climb better. Oh, he's chasing. I don't think he can fit through the door, can he? I can't tell, though. I guess he can. I don't know. I can't tell if he's stuck. He looks like he's stuck. So what are we doing uh, first? I guess we'll do Moog. Doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, dude, I jumped. I tried to jump over him and I still got hit. I'm so dead. Can you stop? I, I literally can't get past him. Oh, he's too tall. He's not even that tall. So this is the 19th run of Elden Ring. We've used 18 weapon types because there was a request for a katana, like two two runs after a katana. So the katana is the only scene we only thing we've seen twice. Dude, this guy is just relentless. It's it been nice seeing like so much variety in the weapons, though. I don't think anything is we're gonna see anything twice for a couple more runs at least. Daggers, I think, are the next thing to get put back in the pool, because, the, like, the dagger run is my second run with the Crescent Sickle, or Celebrant Sickle. I 
I want to say there's 31 weapon types in this game. Including, like, bows and light bows as separate things and ballistas and crossbows and staves and seals. The ballista runs I'm kind of... I'm excited for because I think they'll just be, like, different. Especially the jar cannon. It's going to be a long run, though. That's going to be a pretty painful one, I think. But who knows when we're going to get it. If there's a 2 in 308 chance we get a... Uh, well, it's less now because we've done some weapons, but it's like, you know... 2 in almost 300 if we get a ballista. And then once we get a ballista, we're not going to see the other one for, like, years. Because <laughs> there's just so many weapons and barely any ballistas. I wonder if there's a way to tell these... the Moogs apart. Like, a slight difference in, like, the robe or something. Maybe kind of just, like, in a randomizer, I mean, right? Not, obviously, this is not real money. I know that. But, like, in a randomizer, I wonder if there's, like, a something, you know? You could tell the difference. Or maybe, I guess you just, like, the only way you know, really, is wait for knee heel or, like, you know, trace. And then you know which one you have. I have no clue. I I, did I I think I staggered him already. Oh, never mind. All right, give me Esker. Be level, yeah. What's it gonna do? Honestly, le like it's not it's not the worst idea, especially if we get DLC and I have to come back to this. But at this point, we're just gonna not. I'm trying to. I guess I could have jumped there. I'll jump over here. Don't miss. I missed. Damn it. You know, now that I think about it, this probably isn't the fastest run. Because I think, I don't know, I'd have to check the time on the the Rivers of Blood. Because that might be, I can't remember if it's 14 in-game or 13 in-game. Because this is not going to be under 13. Please. Dude, how do you, how do you not make that? I'm just now excited to see what we're doing tomorrow, too. I love rolling the next weapon because it's just, I don't know, it's the anticipation of like a, another game. I think that this might kill me. Oh, never mind. I think anything but DS2 or DS3 honestly would surprise me. But, you know, you could, you could get anything, obviously. You could even get Bloodborne, even though there's like a 4% chance we get Bloodborne. Could happen though. The nice thing is like the final three bosses are just in a line and they're they're super quick. At least like the, the running parts. This running part sucks. And I wish there was a quicker way to get here. Uh, I'm gonna wait.
Not that way. It'd be cool if we if we got like dungeons in the in a DLC, right? Just to see some new things. Not catacombs, not caves, not tunnels. I don't know what. Like, I don't know what you would do, but or maybe just like style it differently. Yeah, I have a feeling Rivers was probably like 13 in game time, which means Rivers is probably going to be faster than this, which isn't really surprising. I think the new game plus was definitely faster. The new game was slower, though. I think. Not by much, but it probably was. Yo, no, that's not not cool. Don't don't trap me. Oh my god. I can't get a second to breathe. I just wanna kill this dog. Not gonna happen, I guess. Okay, there we go. Dude. Ask her please. Dude has the goofiest looking helmet. That sucks. All right. Get on. Or guide on. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go down the spelling. Good old Gideon. It's a very red tree. Nope, not this way. What's this, like a Lord's Rune or something? A oh, Rune Arc. It's kind of a bummer you can't get the, uh, what is it, the Bolt of Grand Sacks? Is that the legendary weapon? Where the hell am I going? I'm lost. Is it over here? Dude, how did I, how did I just get lost? I've done, how many times have I done this? It's because I came at it from a different angle. I went, I started going down towards the sewers and then I had to go back up and I was just so confused. So there's two more crystal weapons too. You got the crystal staff and then the... Actually, is it? No, there's definitely two more, I think. Spear, the staff, and the sword. I don't know who uses the sword. I don't think anyone uses a sword, but it's there. Like, you have crystallians with the spear, and you have crystallians with the the staff. The other one has a ring. At least on the bosses. Maybe there's another one with a sword somewhere. There we go. No. Ah, the back step. Phalanx, awful spell. I actually hit him well. 
even worse spell. Even worse. He just doesn't do any good spells. That's a good one, actually. Because it's not annoying. Yet. I don't remember what the AoE is like on this, so I'm gonna hope I don't get hit. Did he heal? He healed already. He had to have. Can you stop doing Phalanx? No, stop. That's gonna break any second, I feel. Oh! Nothing left! Can I, can I hit him here? Oh, sick. <laughs> Would have hurt if I couldn't. Not even you. Not even you. A man cannot kill a god. Cannot kill a god. Gideon was a traitor the whole time. I don't understand what the purpose of him... I guess he just wanted to learn. And he wanted you to do his bidding, and then he's like, Psych, this was pointless. Your journey was pointless, but thanks for the info. Mr. Godfrey. Or Godfrey. Wait, he just ran into me. He didn't even hit me with the axe. He did damage. Am I right? I swear to God, if I get a stagger on the phase transition. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's two. Not even close. I thought he was gonna come a little more forward. Ah, I went back in too early. I was gonna try and catch him at the end of a impaling thrust. Didn't work though. What does he do? Seven here? Three, four, no, five, six, seven. Slam, second big slam. I guess we could use this. Dude, I didn't think he'd reach me there. I thought it was far enough away. Oh my god. That's gonna eat me. It's not going very well. I got that. Who put the wall here? The hell is this? I didn't realize I was that close.
There were some memes going on with Gold Freem that's been... Oh, dude, I don't even know where the hell the fissure is. <laughs> I thought it was in one place, and then I'm like, oh, no, that's not right. The way he turns sometimes on that attack is just so weird. Yeah, let's see if we can get him with the thrust this time. Boom! Right there. I got the reposted, or the posture break in phase one, so we're not getting that here, unfortunately. Probably not, anyway. I jumped so early. <laughs> Kill me. mind. Well, it takes us a little aggression. Another one. one. More dead. No, he's not dead. It's fine. They've tarnished. Thy strength befits a crown. All right. Final boss. Hopefully everything else is done, because... I'm just going to go do the final box. We still have, again, potentially DLC if anything uh, gets lost in the cracks. But I think we're good. I keep forgetting to drink the physic. I'm the worst. All right, L2's a little long for this, I guess. For some of this, anyway. Phase two, stomp time. Dude, stop teleporting. Pretty decent damage. Ring time. Nope, I can't. Probably after this though. You know, I really have kind of warmed up to Elven Beast, I gotta say. I gotta go on record and say it's the best final boss, but like... You know, it's okay. It's fine. The arena and the, the music are really nice. And like, I think Radagon's a much more fun fight. Well, the Elden Beast is probably really terrible on low level runs unless you really know what you're doing. Let's see if I can get a stagger here. 
One more any please. Thank you. I can at least get eye frames from this. I'm gonna die for this. I got some eye frames anyway. no wall memes. And he's so far away. Yeah, this damage is solid. With this fight. And then we have that. I really want to just, like, hit him here. That. that would have been fun. Fun finish, but... I'll take the slow, safe way, I guess. I probably would have died anyways if I tried. Alright, Crystal Spear done until DLC, question mark? Maybe? 